Hi there, it's Catherine from Make Way for Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Google Jamboard template for your students really quickly. So this is the one I'm going to be creating. I use it to have students come up with some other words in their writing besides those basic words that we know that they always write. I'm going to be creating this Jamboard in PowerPoint, but you can use Google Drawing. Essentially, you're just creating what you want it to look like before we save it as an image. So here I'm in my PowerPoint. I used the dimensions that were just the default when I opened up PowerPoint. So that's 16 by nine. And then off to the left here, I have the Google Jamboard colors. I like using the colors in my design because it makes it match really well and I think it looks nice. So I'm gonna be creating this template now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first go to my shape tool and I'm gonna click on the rectangle. I'm gonna click and drag out this rectangle until it's the size that I'd like. I'm then gonna change the fill color of it because I want it to be the blue color of Jamboard. So I'm gonna click on shape fill at the top. I'm going to click the eyedropper and just come over here and select the color. And then the same thing for the outline. Here you can see it's already appeared, so I'm gonna click on it here. Then I'm gonna make sure that this is centered. So I'm gonna to go to shape format. I'm gonna click align. I'm gonna click align center and then align middle. Next, I'm gonna insert a text box. So I'm gonna click on text box here. I'm gonna click and drag out my text box and I'm gonna type in the words synonyms for. One of the reasons I like PowerPoint is because I like using the fonts that I have, but Google has some great fonts too. So you can definitely make it in there as well. I'm gonna click and drag this out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna create that white box underneath. Now, this white box is for me to type in any word that I want throughout the school year. So I don't like to type in the word happy here because then I can't reuse this for other words. So I'm gonna click the shape fill tool. I'm gonna to click on the white and then I'm gonna click the outline and click white again. I'm gonna move this off to the side Lastly, I'm just gonna insert a little check mark design. So I'm gonna click insert pictures from my device. I'm gonna find it in the folder that it's in and I'm gonna insert it here. Before you save this design, you can kind of just adjust it if you need to. If you need to add any padding on the top or the bottom, you can do so. Now I'm ready to save it. So I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on this slide. I'm gonna to go to file, save as, I'm gonna click the folder that I wanna save it into. I'll just name it synonyms for. Then here's what you have to do. Instead of PowerPoint, you're gonna save it as a PNG file. So click that and then you're gonna click save. If you made multiple slides, you can click all slides, but I just made one today. So I'm gonna click just this one. Now I'm ready to put it into Jamboard. So to go to Jamboard, I'm gonna click the waffle here in the upper right hand corner scroll down and click Jamboard. Then I'm gonna click on the plus sign in the bottom right. I'm gonna title my jam up here. I'm gonna call it synonyms and click OK. And then I'm gonna click set background. I'm gonna choose the add an image here. We saved that background as an image. So you're gonna click browse and you're gonna find the image on your computer. Here it is at the bottom and now it's the background. If I click on it, it doesn't move. And then lastly, to insert the text on top, you're gonna click the text box icon on the left-hand side. You're gonna click in this white box and you can type whatever word you want your students to work with. And then to make it bigger, I can move it over here. I can click center align so it's in the center. And there you have it. Now you can just assign it to your students. If you're interested in using Jamboards for math, reading, writing, morning meeting, and all those fun school holidays, check out bit.ly slash Google Jamboard bundle. There's also 12 freebie Jamboards that you can get and start using in your classroom today.